If you watch my Saturday live streams, sometimes we like to go through Twitch and look at the just chatting area and the hot tub streams because, well, you can find some hilarious content on there sometimes. Not so much in a traditional joke, but more so the level of guys that go into these chats and just throw incredible amounts of money at, at, these, at these female streamers. And I want to be clear, I'm not hating on the women. I don't think they're doing anything wrong, to be honest. I think the real, the real problem is these guys that sit in there and they think that they're having some kind of relationship with the girls. That's what it is. They're lonely dudes that are sitting there and they think they're in a relationship with women online and they're not. So, you know, you've seen a lot of people leave Twitch recently. A lot of big, big names on there have pretty much gone to YouTube and YouTube's making some big strides to actually compete with Twitch. And they might actually do some damage against Twitch because. I mean, what is Twitch known for now? I saw this really funny meme of uh, it's a, they use the Simpsons characters and it was Smithers and Mr. Burns outside of uh, Moe's Tavern and it had Twitch on it. And they walk in and it's nothing but women uh, like in a strip club. And it's literally getting even more closer to that because now you can go on dates with them so you got this streamer she found a pretty good grift where she does speed dates with her viewers and she's blown up by like 60,000 followers by doing this uh they report that basically she was banned for a while and she got brought back there was some mistake she had uh, 68,000 followers on her channel before she was banned in July, and then she was brought back, and she's apparently gained 40,000 followers in just this month, and that's, of course, by doing this seven-minute speed dating thing. It's actually a really genius idea by her. <laughs> she, Okay, so although not a totally brand new idea, as other streamers like Austin have done, done shows like Love or Host, this streamer has put herself at the center of attention and it's a style of content that is clearly working for her. Simply called Speed Dating Viewers uh, has increased her followers massively over the past month and she is regularly attracting over 3,000 concurrent viewers, some of whom hope of being on the show. Following a lengthy ban from the platform that was caused by a mistake from Twitch itself, uh, when she was unbanned in July at the time, she had just over 68,000. Uh, basically, the way this game works is it's fast, and they're giving seven minutes to impress her and the chat, and then the option to extend or end it with a chat poll. However, inviting random individuals onto a stream to talk and appear on camera can be risky and hurt community guidelines, which, you know, I don't, I don't agree with that. Don't go on there and get someone banned but uh you know i just i find this kind of stuff funny because imagine if it was a dude doing this i wonder how that would go over especially if he gave honest criticism probably get banned for being sexist and stuff like that you know imagine like some like let's just say plumper woman comes on and that's not his type and he says so straight up the guy would probably get banned instantly right if she does that Probably not going to happen. Probably not going to happen. Though I don't think she would be cruel because she wants more people to show up. So it would be in her best interest to uh, not do that. I'm just saying. But, you know, it's just funny. Like, Twitch, where do they draw the line on this stuff? None of this is about games anymore. And it's uh, it's it's like they're, they're not even hiding anymore. And another thing I find funny about this stuff is, like, if a character was dressed like this in a video game or in an anime or something, they'd be all over it. But because it's, you know, 
being used to make money and stuff and the, literally banking on the male gaze. It's all good in that instance. That's okay. That's different. Anyway, just a, just a little bit of craziness. I'm sure it's a Gundam. We'll do a video on this and that will be fun to watch when he roasts this stuff. Anyway, here's another thing I thought I would touch on. Apparently in Australia, uh, they have a sport called netball. I don't know anything about netball. I've seen some pictures. It looks like it's just basketball without a backboard, to be honest. Uh, apparently, this is a sport that only girls play. But because Australia has been going down this weird path for the past couple of years, uh, they've decided to let the boys play with the girls. And... I'm not surprised they completely destroyed the girls team 46 to 12 and apparently won seven games in a row and won the tournament that they were playing in. And uh, this caused outrage from some of the parents. And it's like, well, why weren't you doing anything about this before you let it get to this point? You know, what are you going to do? Uh, I just, I, I think it's only a matter of time till this happens. They, the the lines for boys and girls sports have been blurred for a while, so you know, and no and no one's done anything about it. So, uh, you reap what you sow, I guess. How is this fair to anyone? Outrageous boys are allowed to compete and win a girls' state netball competition while raging parents hurl abuse from the stands, as Australia's. Well, warped gender obsession continues. Uh, the little sub headlines here. Uh, the Queensland under 18 netball title saw an all boys team beat a girls team. Uh, Queensland Suns men's team trounced Bonds University's Bull Sharks 46 to 12. Members of the crowd directed abuse at the boys for playing in the match. Parents and fans were divided online about whether the match was wise. Queensland netball said the boys had nowhere else to play. So, <laughs> welcome to the future, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.